You ready to have some fun? Let's do it. Hello, I'm glad to see you today. I'm certainly glad you could join me. I thought today we'd do a fantastic little painting that I really believe you'll enjoy. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to do this painting with me. And they'll come across, as usual, in the same order as I have them Probably on the Probably the first recorded instance of a dolphin species being made extinct by the actions of humans. Absolutely gorgeous. The Spix macaw is native to Brazil, but it's been hunted into extinction in the wild. Good feeling. George is an 80-year-old giant saddleback Galapagos tortoise, and the last of his kind. You might as well quit. Sudan. Najin. Fatu. These are the last three northern white rhinos left in the world. Let's get started and do an almighty painting together. Okay, let's go up here and build a happy little cloud in the sky. We'll use just the corner of the fan brush and make little tiny circles. The WHO estimates more than one million Chinese died from dirty air in 2016. The smog here was so thick, drivers couldn't see where they were going. A happy little cloud in the sky. As drivers kept crashing into the pilot. We have happy accidents. And even when Beijing orders the dirtiest of these shut, many continue illegally. Beautiful, beautiful colors in the sky. Clean, beautiful, no pollution. Give it a shape. Creatures. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. And no painting of Alaska would be complete without an almighty mountain. Dangerous and deadly overcrowding on Mount Everest is not likely to end anytime soon. There are over 300 dead bodies scattered across the mountain. The hundreds of bodies have been left up there because bringing them down is extremely dangerous and can and has resulted in even more deaths. Gorgeous place. Paul says it has no plans to limit permits on the world's highest mountain. At least 11 people, 11, have died this season alone. The last year where nobody died while trying was all the way back in 1977. Experienced climbers complain about traffic jams near an area with low oxygen levels. They call it the death zone. This season's death toll is the highest since the 2015 Nepal earthquake that triggered an avalanche there. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, whoa. Looks like there's a storm coming already. I say you better get out your heavy coat. Fuck! 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 Big old strong mountain. There. Okay, let's go back up here. Maybe there's some happy little trees live back here. These are far away, and all we're looking for is just little indications, little evergreens that are happy. A statewide emergency in California and two new fires igniting near the Carquinez Bridge northeast of San Francisco. Firefighters, no match for flames uh, is this ferocious and this intense. It's just one apocalyptic scene amidst a swarm of fires ravaging Brazil and its Amazon rainforest spilling out into Bolivia, Paraguay, and Peru. Some 130 fires are burning right now, scorching more than 14 million acres of land. At least 25 people have been killed. And more over twice as big as the Amazon forest fires. Nearly half a billion animals have been killed by the bushfires that have torched 3 million hectares of New South Wales alone. Sometimes you learn more from mistakes than you do from trying so hard. So anytime you, anytime you make a mistake before you get upset with it, look at it. Sometimes those mistakes turn into be the best learning devices we have. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy painting. God bless.